Okay, and my company name is My Back Porch LLC. I did that because Amy Howard suggested that in one of our um, online meetings. So I wanted to come to you and share with you what I'm going to do today. I have this old file cabinet that I had some friends that gave it to me and it's not bad. I tried painting it and I, it just, the color and this stencil, it's, I think this is the chagrin. Um, it's just not appealing to me. So I'm going to paint it again and try something different. So the colors I plan on using today are Bauhaus Buff, and this is the One Step Paint. Um, I have Credenza, which is kind of a, a light green. And then I also have, which one? Um, Not Away, which is a light blue. I really like the greens and the blues together with the accent of the Bauhaus Buff. And then I think I'm going to, whoops. I think I'm gonna use this mesh stencil that a maker studio has, and this one is called Motif. Um, it has all kinds of different furniture motifs that we could use to dress this up. And I think that we're gonna use this um, once we're done painting. So I just recently painted this. I'm just gonna wipe it down because all that it might have is just a little bit of dust. I probably painted it within the last two weeks. So let's get started. Okay, here's my little precious princess. Here she is. Say hi, princess. She can't hear anybody, but she's my 14 year old geriatric precious dog. Mwah. But okay, so I have this Not Away and the Credenza and I'm looking to paint the two colors on here and kind of get a dual toned piece. So I think I'm gonna paint the top and inside these little handles and the bottom rim that goes around the bottom, I think I'm gonna do that in the blue and then, or the not away, and then the credenza color, I'm gonna do the side and the front panels here with the green. And then with the Bauhaus buff, I think I'm gonna use that with the stencil so that the white kind of stands out and brings out the details. So this is what we're gonna do. Let's start with the blue. Okay, let's open this up. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, look at this color. That is such a nice, pretty, light blue. Still trying to learn the names of these. Not away. So this is a color I've never used. So we're gonna give this a try. I have an awful lot of water in my brush. I'd like the brush to just be a damp. Just because I feel like it works better. So we're gonna do the top in this color. Oh, look how smoothly that goes on. It's just a slight difference from the color that we have here. So right now it's really not looking blue because it's fighting with this purple color. Mmm, <laughs> what a yummy color. So I'm going to go ahead and finish painting the areas that I said I would, and then we'll come back when I'm ready to do the not away green. So, or no, wait, this one's not away. The green is, oh my goodness, credenza. There we go. So we'll come back and do that. So let me finish painting this and we'll come right back. And oh my goodness, these two colors are so pretty. So with the blue, I painted the top, this bottom rung down here, and I painted the inside. 
And we're going to paint the front of the cabinet. And then we'll um, touch up as needed if we need a second coat. I'll determine that and we'll go from there. So let me just get some painting done. have the uh, knot away here and this here is our credenza color and now I'm getting ready I've already started cutting but we're using the motif um, adhesive stencil so I think I've decided I'm gonna use one of these two I'm still not sure and then I'm gonna use this one now, if you notice, it only comes in one direction. So I'm going to try to turn it backwards so that I can do, let's see, maybe like this and then flip it over and do it like that. So that'll be something new. We'll see if it works. If not, I'll paint over it. So I think I'm just going to, see that's too wide here. That stencil is too wide to go there. This stencil is literally just perfect. So I think that I will start with this one and I may just start putting it in the middle and then going out each way. So all we do is we pull this off and it's not too terribly sticky. So I don't feel like it's gonna pull my paint off. So let's just eyeball it here to the center. Let's see. Oh, that looks pretty just like that. That looks pretty close to the center. Okay, so now, oh, I need my screwdriver to open my paint again. Oh, okay. So this is our Bauhaus buff. I am a firm believer that just two colors is not quite enough. I'm going to set that on my plastic just in case. I think I'm going to use this sponge brush. And I have, I have a little thing of water ready to dip this in and clean it off when I need to. And some of my blue shop towels that I use. I like those because you don't get it. The blue part doesn't come off. It's kind of like using a nice cotton rag. So I'm getting this where there's really not that much paint on here. And I'm just gonna gently paint this on and then pull it right off. Uh, Amy Howard does have uh, like squeegees that make this super easy, but imagine that. I don't have one right now. I had one, but I lost it. So let's pull this off and see how that looks. Oh, look at that. Look how pretty that is, y'all. So I'm going to put this in the water and I'm going to clean it off. So we're going to do this couple times. So let me try to clean this off just a little so that we can reuse it. I like to let them dry for a little bit so we'll just kind of set this one aside and we will try to do this one while we're waiting for that to dry. So let me make room here. I'll move this over here. So I think 
So we could either do it like this here, or we could do it going across. And I kind of like the across. I don't know. It just appeals to me. So peel this one off. I'm going to have to get off my knees and show y'all this. Okay. Peel it off and then we're going to go on here. I think I'm going to line it up just. No, I think I'm going to line it up here like that. So that that's right on the edge. So I'm going to get just a little bit more paint, not a lot. I'm scraping off most of this because if you get too much, you're just going to paint everywhere. I'm just going to cover that real good. What this is, is it has a mesh and instead of just being open, it has a mesh. So it's able to hold all of that design so well in there. And look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna get this wet and clean it off and then we'll start the video back up and we'll try to do this one backwards. So we'll see how that works. Okay, I got this all cleaned up. So now we're gonna try to do this backwards, just like we did that one. Now the trick is, is that all the sticky is facing me. So I'm going to just hold it right down here. Oh, I got my paint. So I'm just going to get a little bit. Now I'm holding this right where I want it to be. So I'm trying to be really careful. Because the thing about this is the mesh goes through from both sides. So let's see how this goes. Not quite as good, but I still think it looks good. Now what I'm gonna do, make sure I'm doing it upright. There we go. So I already have a line here here, I left that line and I just started the design on the other side of the line. So I just really want to kind of line it up right about, let's see. Okay, there's the white line. I see it through there. I think that's off a little. It's just a placement thing. Oops. Okay, there. All right, so I've got that down. And what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna get a little bit of paint. Does it not take much? I'm gonna skip this little line here and just start on the other side of that one. Another thing is, is you want to try to stay on the transfer itself because, you know, you're going to paint on the furniture that you just did. If it's real tight or you're having problems, go and take some painter's tape and put that painter's tape right next to it. Well, it looks like I went over a little bit, but you know what? That looks, I love the look of that. It gives it that real dainty feminine look. I don't figure most men are going to have this in here. So I'll go ahead and finish doing this. I'm going to do these down here, and then I might do this same one down here on the bottom. Just going to leave the sides alone. So let me get that done and we'll come back and I'll show you how I will finish this piece. Okay, I've gotten this to the point where I just have a couple more to do. Thought I would show those before we finished up here. So I'm doing the fourth corner. I found that on the other one where I turned it in or upside down, if you do it with really dry 
um, paintbrush, it works better. But I'll have to say with the adhesive down, it works best. So, okay, so that one's done. I'm gonna do this last little section here. And in between, I do kind of let the paint dry a little bit because we do overlap just a little. Okay, so we're gonna do this last little bit. I just love these. I hope that you figure out how to use these. They're for sale on Amy Howard's A Maker Studio. And I'm gonna put that back down in the water. And I think that gives this just a touch that I like. So I'm gonna put my paintbrush in the water and put the lid on my paint and then we're going to talk about what we're going to do to finish this up. So let me clean up my mess and we'll go to the next step. I thought I'd show you that sometimes these don't have to be perfect and if they don't turn out perfect, you know, say you could, I could come back and gently sand a little so it looks kind of like you know some of this it's it's not brand new I mean that's the whole trick so I'm gonna go back and do that on on this just a little bit I'm using um, let's see 180 so it's a very light sandpaper. I'm using a light touch tape on, on the sandpaper. So I don't really want to mess up the paint underneath. Plus it smooths it out so nicely. I had some bumps down here on the bottom of that paint. So I wanted to smooth that out anyway. So there, it's not so bright. It's just been sanded just a little bit. So one of the things that I like to do is I like to use these sanding sponges. Um, I buy them at Home Depot or Amazon. And then I get it just a little bit damp. So it's not squeezing water. It's just a little bit damp so it's not dry. And then I like to use my matte sealer with a brush because it gives it a nice even coat. So I got some there, see? So I'm just gonna gently wipe it on this way we don't really have any brush strokes and this by doing this this seals your paint it makes it much tougher and when it dries, it's going to dry a nice matte, just like your paint is going to dry. And I want to make sure that when someone is, you know, when they're opening, look, I can see that I have a little, oh, these drawers are heavy, upside down. So I'm going to wipe that one. Oopsie. See, this stuff is already drying. Oop, wrong side. There we go. Wipe that one. So I'm going to come back. We'll do the sides here really quick. Okay, I've got
back this up. So I'm just going to finish the top here. Oh. Getting this on nice and smooth and thin. I don't really feel like it needs to be antiqued. We could antique it if you wanted to use the waxes. So I'm done. This takes oh, less than 30 minutes to dry. So we'll let this dry and I will show you my finished product.